Welcome guys, this is Claudette with Miss Puff Creative Corner and today I am coming on with yet another Cricut Joy project. So I am going to be showing you how to create a sentiment with a shadow um, using my Cricut Joy. Now the other day I had gotten um, this die cut from Timu and it cuts the word hello out right and then you have the little back the little shadow piece so I'm going to show you how you could do that using your Cricut Joy so um, here is how it looks the two pieces from the die cut and it's going to be harder to so this is how it looks and that's a beautiful font so it's harder to cut like cursive, especially if it's not thick. The, um, if it's too thin, the paper would tear. So you have to have, if you're gonna do cursive, a nice bold, thick um, font. Um, so let's go ahead. I am going to do an individual font. I try a cursive font, but I didn't like how it came out. I'll show you how that came out here in a moment. So let's go ahead and jump into how I'm going to create the um, sentiment with the um, shadow background. Okay. So what we're going to do is go in. Once you get into your Cricut um, design space, you're going to hit new project. And then we just want a blank um, canvas. And then we're going to hit, come down here and hit text. Okay. So then it's highlighted in blue. That means that you could go ahead and type in that box. And I am just going to go ahead and change the um, font up here. And then you have the Cricut fonts and then the system fonts is the one that you um, download. Or the ones that I downloaded and I am going to come in here and find the font that I would like. And um, I am going to do a print. Font. and I'm going to do this one here Cooper black because it's nice and thick and bold and then it's up here in the font section it says Cooper black and I am just gonna you could double tap in that to make it that blue so you're um, able to type in that font type in the text that you would like but I'm going to come up here and unlock going to size and I'm going to hit that unlock um, pad right there. And I'm going to make this 2.75 in inches in width lengthwise. And then the height, I am going to make this 0.75. And this is just for a reference. Okay. So you could do it however you would like, however big. And to you, if you are putting it on a card, you probably want to, um, eyeball your card take your ruler and measure it to see how long you would like it to be okay um so i'm going to go ahead and lock that size in so i'm going to double click on that and then it's going to come up double click and then it's blue now i am going to put in the word hello and i just want it to be a small all lowercase um, letters and then let's see here lowercase letters and then let's see my size changed I should have typed that in first so 2.75 and then this is um, 0.75 and then lock that in so 2.75.75, I have the Cooper black, and that's what I would like there. So now what I want to do is create the shadow. So we're gonna come and we're gonna hit the offset button right here, hit that. And then it tells you how much you wanna offset it by. Um, if you want it rounded, a, a, a corner, how you want your corners, I'm just going to keep that round, that rounded instead of square. And you could move this here. And I'm just going to move this where it's like 
0 0.0 0 0.083 um, and then I'm going to apply see and that's how the offset is looking right there let's keep put the hello in white so you could see it and that's how it's going to be looking for you see the hello and then the black that's how your offset is going to look now when i was doing it i was having two mats you know so they were printing the hello first on one mat then the other one on the next mat because i guess you have two different colors so let's see if it's because of the same colors if it'll keep it in the same um on the same mat So here, let's just keep it black. And let's just keep it bold white. So the offset color, let's put that white. So in this case, let's see if we could just get it all on one mat. So we want to save time and just run it through just once. Let's hit make and see what we have. Okay, so it's on one mat, which is good. So I think maybe if you give it two different colors, it gives you two different mats, I'm guessing. So I'm just going to put where I want the hello and then where I want the um, shadow. So my shadow is in a darker color. So when I'm putting the um, cardstock on my mat, I want the black up here and then I want the white down here. So you have time to finagle it here on your mat how you would like it to be. So we're doing it on mat and then my size of my mat is 4.5 by 6.5 inches and I have how I want my letters placed. And then what we're going to do is hit continue. And it's searching right here for my Cricut Joy. Okay, so now it found my Cricut Joy and it's telling me to set base the material, what material I want. So this is already bookmarked for a smart label writable paper. So I'm going to go in here to popular and I'm going to hit medium card stock here. And um, so now it's telling me make sure my blade is in because I only want cut. I make sure I have each um, the shadow and the word on cut, not right. So it's just going to cut them out. And then here is I'm going to load my mat into the machine and it's going to run it through the machine. Make sure everything is well aligned. So now what I'm going to do is I have my mat right over here. So the top one is my shadow, right? So I want it in black and I have it up to here to the top of the line. So I'm just going to put that there to the top. So I'm putting it there to the top. I'm going to cancel and go back. And you see here where my mat is, you see how the line is. So it's in between the one and just above the two. So I think I'm good here. And then this is just below the three. And that's where I'm going to put the white paper just right there below the three. And then we'll go for it. And I'm just going to take my little scraper, a spatula, whatever this little doohickey is called and um, scrape that on good make sure it sticks down there and if you have larger paper you could use a larger paper to be on the safe side but i'm just risking it and using my scrap piece of paper so i'm just going to hit continue again so i'm going to load my mat and it's just checking making sure everything is well aligned And then it's ready to go. So I'm going to hit go. And let's keep our finger crossed that I lined it up correctly. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy um, these kind of videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you could be notified when I upload my latest videos. And also go ahead and smash that like button down below. That would be greatly appreciated. So on this little um, die set, I really do like this um, font, but you know, if you could find a similar font like this, 
if you like this font too but in cursive it have to really be thick and bold so you could cut out you know nicely so 100 percent cut and then what we say is complete and then we're going to unload mat just don't yank your mat out so we're going to unload the mat and there we have this and then we're going to so it kept in this distance that i um put down so which was good stayed within the space so we're just going to take these pieces off here and then i have this spatula that i'm going to use to pull my um, wording up this is from my brother scan and cut and because some before i was using like uh, um a little pokey tool but it was damaging the um paper see this kind of is too so let's see you just have to be careful with them i haven't used my um white joy that much but I look it didn't cut out that clean so i'm wondering if i need a a new blade Oh, I just need to clean my blade. It's good to have a fingernail file around so you could just get those edges. Clean up those edges. Anyway, so that's how that came out, guys. So let's go ahead and just put this hair together. We're going to have our hello there. Let me just get some glue and we'll put those together. So this is done. Let's get this out of the way. All right, let's bring out my art glitter glue. I just love that glue. That's my favorite glue. And let's go ahead and put these pieces together. So the um, low word shadow came out as one piece, right? And then we're just going to add the individual letters here. just add this one here so you know you if you have your Cricut or these um, electronical um, machines you could create you don't need to buy dies for everything I think is a learning curve for me it is anyway to figure these things out but once you figure it out you um, you good to go I think it may take a little bit more, it takes maybe a little bit more time, but you get what you would like. It's definitely much quicker when you're using your die, you know, you just put those together and run it through your um, die cutting machine versus, you know, getting your computer out, hooking it up and getting in a design space and what have you. But if you don't have it in your little stash, this is another way to do it if you have because these machines are not inexpensive you know so use it but you save a lot in the long run when you don't have to be cutting um, buying dies for everything you know look at that isn't that beautiful you know what I have to try is some foam cutting out like the foam into that shadow piece use some foam and cutting that out and see if I could just pop that up. And this I created earlier and I, it's a little smaller and I use the capital H. This is with my die cut hair. Let's go ahead and glue that together. And then I'm going to do another video where as you could have that um, outline with just you just do your ink you put write it in ink you write and then you have your outline so you do your overlay you do your word in the ink and then you have an overlay and you just have one cutout so you're not going to have two different cutouts 
So you're not gonna have two different pieces, it's just gonna be one cutout. And this is the one I tried with the cursive and it looked kind of jinky. So, um, but I think that was one of the thicker cursive that I had in my downloads. And I got a lot of downloads from Creative Fabrica and it's another um, place that I got some from too as well. And I can't remember that um, name right off the bat. So that's how those look guys. And you know what? Let's try to see how it is with um, cutting out some foam. Let me see if I still have that um, shadow up and cut out a foam for that and show, see how it pops up. If we could get that popped up. Let me find a piece of foam. Okay, so let's see how this does with the foam. So we just want the shadow piece to come out and I am just gonna cut a little piece of this foam here off. See if I still have that saved up there and see how this goes. Let's see if I could go back and because I didn't save this project. Okay, so we went back. I'm gonna delete this one here because I don't want that one and I just want the shadow. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit make. Again, don't pay any mind where it lands here on this mat, this grid paper, we're gonna hit make. I'm just trying to think to see how it works. So, so this is the shadow here. So I want to see if I like to, when I pop up, pop it up like on foam. And what I'm gonna do is see, it's right still up there in that spot. I'm gonna put it right here. It has a grid, came back. So it's right there on that one. So it's past the one. So this should fit right in there. I don't know if this is gonna be too thick for my blade, but Let's try to see if it works. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take my spatula and, and try to press that down. Let's see, it's kinda thick, but let's see if it would work. Okay. And then, so we're just doing the shadow, so we're gonna hit continue. So it's searching again for the, uh, joy my joy machine and then here we want to set the material so we need it to really cut deep you know what i am going to um try deluxe paper let's say it says browse all um it says granulated cardboard maybe i should use that flat cardboard foil I'm gonna go there. Corrugated cardboard. Let's try that because that probably is kind of thick. So let's see how deep it'll go. I hope I don't cut into my mat, but I am trying a thing here. So let's see. Let's hit done. All right. So it says load your tools. I have my fine point blade in. This is closed. Then load my mat. All right. So I'm gonna load in my mat. And then it's checking everything, make sure everything is well aligned. All right, so let's hit go. See what we get, guys. Keep our fingers crossed that everything will go okay. And then it'll cut okay, we'll see. Hopefully it won't drag it, you know, cause it's foam. Okay, so unload, that was quick. So it's unloaded. I don't know if it cut. So that was quick. Let me kind of zoom in so you guys could see. Can you guys see that? It outlined. I'm just gonna remove this. 
Man, it didn't touch it. It just did the, the top up here. It didn't touch it. It wasn't deep enough. So that wasn't deep enough. So um, it did outline it. So if you have a, um, a blade, you could finish cutting through that. Maybe it was just too spongy, too spongy to cut around. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut in those grooves. Oh, well maybe, let's see. It's ripping off, I don't want to. I guess it is tearing, it could tear it. It cut it deep enough so it's tearing. So next time I'm gonna, I wonder if it's because I say corrugated um, cardboard versus regular cardboard. Not bad, right? Okay, so therefore I have a little um, foam for the back of my um, little hello that I created. So that's how I like to do my little pop-ups. Just add foam to the back instead of the sticky dots. So now I just I'm gonna just add some glue here on this. Yeah, if you guys um, cut heavier material with your Cricut Joy or just let me know what kind of settings you put it on for like if you ever did um, foam. Just drop me down in the comment down below because I'm getting to, to learn uh, my Cricut Joy. I'm trying to use it more. And I try to watch some YouTube. I do have a little um, book on it, but you know, sometimes just reading and watching so many channels is like you get nowhere when you're trying to create your projects, you know? You get behind. And with these foams, you don't wanna stretch them out too much, but that's it right there, guys. Isn't that cool? I thought, I think that's really nice, and I don't mind the hint of brown showing there. So that's it. I thank you guys for tuning in and checking out and spending the time with me. I hope you guys got creative value from today's video. Um, and you continue to use your um, tools and your little gizmos um, that you buy, that you invest in. Go ahead and use them. Make mistakes. Have fun. And that's, that's the beauty of creating, guys, and being crafty. We just, it's trial and error um, with everything. So you guys have a great, great rest of the week. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Claudette and I shall catch you on my next video.